Welcome back, everybody. Um, apologies for not being here. Um, basically, run down what happened. Uh, a few months ago, we noticed our internet was being really slow, and that when I would upload stuff, our internet would basically completely crash. So we looked into it, found out there was an issue. Well, good news. We finally got that issue taken care of. We have a brand new tower. We have faster internet speed. So content will be coming to you guys uh, really quick. Um, if you've noticed, I have a haircut. I'm growing a goatee right here. Now, here's the thing. Won't be in my Nightmare on Elm Street videos. Reason being, those were filmed about uh, August, September-ish, maybe. So I'll have longer hair and probably a 5 o'clock shadow, no goatee. I also may look a bit heavier in those as well. So uh, while I'm thinking of it, we are doing an unboxing, sort of. This is my second take, so I already took stuff out of a box. I'm not going to put it all back in. Um, I've also unwrapped them so I can show you the slip covers a lot easier. But that leads me to scheduling. So the way things are going to be scheduled from now on, starting with this video, unboxings, unless it's related to my main show, which I have one coming October 13th, unboxings for Vinegar Syndrome's uh, halfway sale, or one I have coming Monday, which I'll probably throw in with this one, uh, those will come out Wednesdays. So Wednesdays, unboxings. Thursdays, if you are a Patreon, you will get a video, either snack or me, uh, me reviewing something related to Nightmare on Elm Street, at least as of right now, as my main show does that. Friday, main show. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Those are the schedules. Uh, Wednesday, unboxing. Thursday, patron. Friday, main show. Now, as a bonus, because I've been away for so long, I'm going to try a drink for you. I remember trying this. I did try this earlier. My wife got it. It is Sour Patch Crush. I don't know how well you can see it. I drank it when it was cold. This is probably going to be hot. Mm. Ah. Ah. Mm. Okay. Mm. This is a Sour Patch Berry. Don't recommend it. It tastes like you're drinking those sour crystals. It's very, it feels very sugary. Whether or not it is, I don't know. But God, mm, no. Can't do it. So, do I recommend Crush? No, I do not. Will you like it? If you like Sour Patch Kids, yes. So, let's go on with this stack. Now, there is stuff in this stack. Not related to the halfway sale, and I'll tell you why here in a second. So first up, we have Ladrones de Tumbas. Uh, Ladrones de Tumbas, also known as Grave Robbers. This takes place in the Spanish colonial age. Has a newly scanned and restored 4K, and is restored in 4K from its original elements. An interview with the director. Commentary track with the Hysteria Continues. Hysteria Continues is a podcast I listen to fairly regularly. Justin Kurzweil is the host. He also wrote what I have, the Slasher Movie Guide, or Slasher Movie Book. It has now been changed to the Teen Slasher Movie Book in later editions. I have one of the first editions. Anyway, he, Eric, Nathan, and one other guy, I can't remember the name, sadly. They do this podcast where they talk about various movies, they talk about what they watch first, and then various movies, and what they think about them, and their background, and the background on them. So that's really neat. So Love the Hysteria Continues. They do show up on a number of Vincent and Arrow titles. So, here is the artwork currently. And here is the other artwork. And you know what? I actually, I like the alternate artworks better. So, I'm going to flip this around before I lose everything. And 
make it all nice and even. There we go. Got sticking out the bottom. We don't need that. All right. And voila! The Drones de Tumbas now has a cool cover like that. Again, Grave Robbers is the main title of this. I'm really excited for this one. Next up, we have Spellcaster. And so this is one side. This is the other. Uh, the only... You may notice there may be some damage to the plastic here. It's because the plastic kind of goes... Yeah, if you see, the plastic actually hits the bottom of this. So it kind of damages the plastic a little bit, which I think sucks. So you have to hold the box out. Um, but anyway, Spellcaster was a full moon movie. Um, a group of strangers invited to partake in a promotional televised treasure hunt at a remote Italian castle. With a winner walking away with a million dollar fortune. Um... But the old gothic building has some diabolical tricks up its sleeve. Alright. So this is newly scanned and restored from restored in 2K. An interview with the director, reversible artwork, double-sided poster. Hey, it does have a double-sided poster. Okay, so the reversible artwork is the back side of this again. I'm going to assume the double-sided poster is the same thing. So let's, let's check her out. Yep. Double-sided poster. Same thing. I can't tell if you can see. How well you can see the dude or woman or whatever that is. And then here's the other side. So. So I do like... This is a... Uh... Not a VSU, I don't remember what this label is. It's the same one that LA Wars is. And I cannot for the life of me remember what the name of that one is. Now I'm having issues with this flipping poster. I suck at posters. So maybe that's what it is? Nope, that's not it, because this is... What the hell? Welcome, folks, to Jerry. Jerry figures out how to put a freaking poster away. Gosh dang. Nope, because that's going to... What is the flipping deal? What is going on? Hopefully that's not ripping anything, because it feels like it. Alright, so that was Spellcaster, if I can remember where to put the thing. So, to put this away correctly, without damaging it, you kind of have to hold the box on one side. Well, you, well, you put it in, but see, then it's going to go down the back. I think the... See, this is the problem I'm having, is you can hear it, like, hear that? It's the box is too tight, I think. Too tight or the plastic is too loose, because you can hear that popping, which can't be good. So, anyway, that was Spellcaster. I'm going to take that poster to my wife, see if I screwed it up around. Next, we have Memorial Valley Massacre. Evil land developer Alan Sangster has just opened his latest tourist trap, the Memorial Valley Campground. As carloads of happy campers arrive for what they assume is a weekend of fun and great outdoors, much more blah, 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 sister presence is watching them. So, this is newly scanned and restored in 4K from its original negative. An interview with the director, an interview with an actor, 
a promotional still gallery. I have never seen this. Uh, here is the artwork currently. This is the reverse artwork, which actually I like the reverse artwork more. So, the reverse artwork on this This reminds me a lot of a VHS cover. So now, the next one is what I'm excited for. So when I first did these, I said I may have some, some in my possession that aren't part of this box. Because here, I have Lucio Fulci's Zombie from Blue Underground. 4K restoration, I do not have the 4K because I got this set and I really don't want to spend the money for a 4K of something that's already remastered in a 4K restoration. So, so this is Zombie, okay? People know Zombie. Uh, few, peop few people other than horror nerds know this, is, this title is actually incorrect. This title is Zombie 2. The original zombie is Dawn of the Dead, which I don't know. Even fewer people know there was a Zombie 3. And this is from Sever. Even less people know Zombie 4 after death. Even less people know about Killing Birds. Now this is Vincent's release about Killing Birds. Or, of course... Zombie 5 Killing Birds. That's right, there are five zombie movies. Um, and that's not including, like, Black Zombies, I think, is one of them. And a whole bunch of others. So, Killing Birds. A group of college-aged ornithologists have taken a class trip deep into the wilderness on a quest to find a study and to find and study a rare and possibly extinct species of bird. Despite having ominous war warnings, both human and avian, they set up camp in an old house, only to find themselves under siege from mysterious supernatural forces. So, I first found out about this on a YouTube show. Uh, that's how I found out about Zombie having a sequel, and then having 3, 4, and 5. I believe there's also Zombie 90, I think was one of them. Um, now, this is... Newly and restored in newly scanned and restored in 2K from 35 mil includes soundtracks in original English and Italian dubbed. An interview with writer director Claudio Latanzi, a video interview with sound soundman Larry Ravine, an audio commentary with film hist historian and author Sam Degan, an original trailer, original Italian trailer, and I think. Claudio Latinzi, I want to say that that might be uh, Claudio Vergasso, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I could be wrong. Now, there will, be an, there will be an addition to this Monday when I get the next one out. Okay, so here's the Zombie 5 art again. And then this will just be easier. Here's the alternate where it just says Raptors, which is essentially the same artwork, but it doesn't say Zombie 5 on it. So yeah, so that was the September box from Vincen. So we have Spellcaster, Killing Birds, Memorial Valley Massacre, and Grave Robbers. This was a great haul. I'm looking forward to all of these. I'm going to do a marathon of uh, zombie, and then Zombie 3, 4, and 5, which will be great. So, yeah. Uh, Spellcaster, also really looking forward to. So, now, uh, the one I have coming Monday, I'll do, add that to this. And then, by the time this airs, which will be a Wednesday, you guys can look forward to a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, patrons, will be looking for, uh, patrons will be seeing my, uh, trying video. 
Then we get into A Nightmare on Elm Street. And then I have content for patrons that go along with Nightmare on Elm Street. And uh, by the time Monday rolls around, I will check a poll I have on my Patreon. I will be reviewing Nightmare on Elm Street films. Now, if my poll states they want me to stop that and go to Friday the 13th, there's a chance I'm going to stop because I only got through Nightmare 1, 2, and 3. As I was getting ready to do 4, I had so much stuff on the camera, I couldn't film anything. Um, and so I took it all off and I edited it. But, uh, um, but I didn't get through 4 and 5 because I've been trying to get through that footage and all that. So, so uh, if they vote yes and they, vote, they want me to stop, I will stop and do Friday the 13th. If they, on the other hand, if they want me to say no and keep doing Nightmare, then Nightmare will continue. So the fate is in their hands. And that is my Patreon. Uh, I'll have a link in the description to my Patreon about where you can go and vote in polls, see exclusive content, watch me try a whole bunch of stuff. So thank you for watching, and we will catch you next time. Unboxing, different hair, different shirt, different day, obviously. What's in here is something I've been waiting on. Uh, before I get started, I want to let you know that the poll has ended on my Patreon, and it was voted that when the Friday the 13th set gets here, after the unboxing of that on my main show, then that means I will start reviewing those, going from Nightmare on Elm Street to Friday the 13th, and then as soon as I am done with Freddy vs. Jason, I will go back and get the Nightmare on Elm Street episodes. So, wanted to let you all know that is the current plan. So, this box. This box is from Severn Films. What do we have inside? We have packing peanuts. Who doesn't love packing peanuts? Inside, we have one of the most notorious films. And stickers. The most notorious sticker that says Intervision. I think there's another sticker in here. There's that. A lot of peanuts, though. So, there's even a peanut on the ground. So, what did I take out other than the sticker? Oh, the other most notorious thing, the Severn sticker. All right, so are you guys ready? Here it is. Cruel Jaws, AKA Jaws 5. This is amazing. Apparently, Shout Factory was going to release this at one point, but ran into rights issues. The reason? It uses clips from Jaws movies, from what I gather. So, Cruel Jaws is an Italian exploitation film, I think is the best way to describe it. Uh, only a certain number of these came with this uh, Jaws 5 slipcover. So, once the slipcover's out, that's what it's going to look like. I do believe this was directed by... Uh, by, Cla I want to say Claudio Fergasso. See if I can find it. Uh, Bruno Mattai, sorry. Bruno Mattai, not Claudio Fergasso. Bruno Mattai did Cruel Jaws. The special features on here, there's a study in shark exploitation with Rebecca McKendry, who was uh, formerly a member of the Shockwaves podcast. I don't know if that's still going. Um, this also has two cuts. This has the home video version, and the Snyder Cut. So Bruno Mattai, when he made this, used the name William Snyder. So there's also an interview with an actor and a trailer on here. This has been something I've been looking forward to ever since it was spoiled in a Severn um, booklet. I'm not sure what to call that book. Like a, a merchandise catalog. That's what it is. Severn, if you buy from them during, like, uh, during, um, Black Friday, well, this may have one, during Black Friday, there's usually a catalog in their releases. Yeah, if you buy from them halfway to Black Friday, Black Friday, and some of their single releases, there's a catalog of what's coming up. I saw Cruel, J Cruel Jaws was on the 
docket, I should say. Found that was on the docket almost a year ago because it was Black Friday when I saw that and I'm like, ooh. It was either Black Friday or halfway to Black Friday. I don't remember which. And then I saw this was on the docket and I got very excited. So I am going to watch this. I will let you all know how it is and um, there's a chance I may use it if I get bored one day to break up the Friday the 13th Nightmare on Elm Street stuff. Uh, not 100% sure yet. But while I'm thinking of it, uh, Friday the 13th, I will be watching the movie and the special features. Then I will also be watching the corresponding scene from Crystal Lake Memories, the documentary that came out about the Friday the 13th franchise hosted by Corey Feldman. So, thank you for watching this unboxing. We will see you guys on Friday for the first Nightmare on Elm Street episode. Again, as a reminder, I'll have longer hair, different facial hair, mainly because it was filmed a while ago. So, thank you.